Last time on the Heroes of Kanton City, Squad 26 took full advantage of their day, shopping for apparel, getting dinner at the bento box, and signing up for magic and martial arts classes at the academy. They carried this momentum into their next day, making a quick stop for coffee at the Kanton Cafe. On their way to pick up a new parallel quest, however, they almost literally bumped into the shy but gracious Namekian, Karakel. With a quick and friendly introduction, they learn she's actually the operator for Pato, the powerful Saiyan who completed two missions the previous day by himself. After meeting up with Cinemo and a very excited Boon in the lab, the team was sent out to fight Yamcha and Tien to try and show the Z-Warriors that they still have a ways to go. It was a hard-fought battle, but eventually Squad 26 came out on top. However, just when their friends were ready to bring them home, an SOS alarm suddenly rang in their ears. Who sent out this call for help, and why? Will our heroes be able to save them in time? Find out now! Someone's in trouble. Yeah, I guess there's another group of patrollers somewhere who are in over their heads. Oh, it's I can only cool. guess. I mean, I think we could help them out. How do you guys feel? <clears throat> um, yeah, I think I'll be okay. Teller's punching her fists together like, I'm good for it. All right, let's do it. Come on. Let's go, team. Sorry, I'm Chess. Sorry, Tien. Cinema, what are the details on this SOS? Uh, looks like Squad 22 is having a bit of issues right now. One of the enemies on a quest they were sent on turned out to be stronger than expected, and they got rolled pretty hard. They're actually oh. they're actually in hiding right now. They just need someone to come out and uh, help whittle this thing down. Gotcha. This can only go well. I believe in <laughs> us. All right. Thanks, guys. I know they're going to appreciate it. We'll get you sent over there in just a minute. You all gather up, and within a few moments, you are pulled into another location. All right, go team. Team twenty six. Hey, this go. is drastically uh, colder. Oh, <laughs> thankfully, I came prepared. <laughs> I put my scarf a little bit tighter. I'm like much better. V probably just, like buttons or zips up the coat so it looks like the the coats they wear in the Broly movie. I don't even know if I feel the cold. I'll I'll look. I at, don't know. Maybe the celery looks at Prince and then just like takes her own neckerchief and hoists it over her bump of a nose <laughs> like this is what i do right yeah yeah you did really great you're doing awesome you're doing great sport <laughs> all right as you touch down here to not hide him too much because he's definitely not hiding when you touch down you find this monster uh oh. waiting for you oh Dang. those oh but the ah that thing. It appears to be searching around the area for something. Although for you key sensors and also with your scouters, uh, nothing is being picked up as far as another team is concerned at the moment. If you wish to try, you could make a uh, clairvoyance check to see if you can find something. Yeah, sure. Um, but they're all kind of trying to conceal themselves. They're doing a uh, great job. I can try and use the scouter, but I literally cannot sense key. <laughs> so um, I cannot yeah. Uh, can uh, I use the scouter to see if I can actually find their power level um e yes i'm excited uh, I'm, I'm excited we're going to write either of you like oh Ooh, that's a good one Ooh, all right 
Are either of us what? Proficient in stealth at all. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, apparently I am. Because I just I just never thought I'd a, use it. <laughs> I have a plan. I have an idea. Uh, oh, no. So I did make one personal change um, to the stealth rule, if you remember. Th this was one I mentioned back at character creation. And this was just a personal thing. But Dragon Ball, not exactly a very stealthy property. Uh, mm -hmm. Not exactly a kind of thing where you're expected to do that much. So I didn't want anyone to want to try that to feel like they're putting points in a worthless skill. Uh -huh. So if you ever oh. ha if you ever want to make a uh, stealth check, that's actually going to go into your acrobatics. I mentioned oh, that in character creation. Oh. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Which means you should definitely be good at that. Before we talk about the plan, Prince, yes. Prince. did a check for clairvoyancy. And I believe your scouters also would have picked this one up. Oh, okay, good. Uh, cause uh, they didn't roll the best concealment check. There is a small, it doesn't show up on this little map. I'm just having to work with what I got. Okay. Um, but there is a small cave right around this area where I'm pinging and you can detect three small power levels concealing themselves from this thing looking around the area trying to find them. A question, so this big thing hasn't seen us yet, is that right? Um, we're gonna say no. All right, okay. team, huddle up. Team huddle. Huddle, huddle, right. huddle, huddle. You're gonna, move, you're gonna move over into the trees or something, hide, hide. Okay, all, all right, fine, we can, we can. If we just sound like trees, he won't notice us. Tree, 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 <laughs> tree, 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 tree. I'm just a tree. stand perfectly still and he'll think you're a tree. She's just T-posing. I have uh, a leaf up over my head. Here's what I'm thinking. I'll step out, make him think it's just a mono e mono a one-on-one -on -one fight, and then you guys sneak around this cliffside, yeah, right here, and catch him by surprise. Uh, Prince, are you good at stealth? Like, hypothetically, if I were to put a number to it, <laughs> it would be... <laughs> It would be a plus one. I okay. have a plus six. Well, Prince. only if I'm in dangerous liquid form. Prince, you and I hit him from the front. Celery sneaks around the side and catches him as a dangerous liquid. How does that, is that anything? Celery nods and puts her hand in the middle for like a go team sort of thing. Yeah, he'll throw his hand in there. All right, cool. Let's try it. Worst comes to worst, we beat his ass as always. We've done it before. Accurate. Eaten the butt. Okay, hold on. Uh, hey. Celery, I'll say that uh, if you successfully get an acrobatics roll to roll up on this thing unnoticed, uh, I'll say that for at least your first couple hits, he'll have the guard down condition. So Celery will uh, like roll her shoulders, crack her neck, and then uh, whoop, turn into just a puddle of green goo and start trying to move stealthily. This thing is just going to be like moving around, scanning the area. He's going to come up to about there, I think, is where he's going to move while this okay. discussion is going on. Celery was going to move like through the trees and around. So does that help me any or? Uh, fuck it. I guess we could do advantage. Oh, hey, I was actually right. You have the hidden combat condition while your opponent doesn't know where you are and they are treated as having guard down. Oh, sweet. Nice. Okay. Man was clear. Okay, so, oh, oh, oh no. okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're ignoring that one. No. Okay. Okay, well. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know what? Um, let's go eat butt. I, I give up. <laughs> Clarification, uh, I said beat butt. Oh, my bad. Like, it's a good yeah, thing Celery yeah. can't actually talk then. I'd like to say um, that, that, that she just, she tried to be sneaky, but then wasn't paying attention and just slammed into a tree. <laughs> Yeah. And it was really um, I guess Brian. Brian. So we probably would have been uh, trying to like head out over here, I guess, just to be like, hey, bud. Prince there, climbs a tree <laughs> and then does a cool flip. Hey, ugly. What are you doing all the way out here? The trash heap is back that way. Oh. Uh, it does turn around with. Oh, dear. <laughs> Come on, big fella, let's see what you got. Uh, and unfortunately, as you say that, suddenly a uh, tree branch cracks uh, behind you and Celery is just standing there. <laughs> Pretty sure the whole damn tree just shook off its snow. Uh, celery. All right, and with All that, right. we're gonna go ahead and roll some initiatives. All right, uh, with that, we're gonna start with Celery. Uh, I'm going to because I'm really mad. Celery's just gonna immediately turn red and just- I'm done with your nonsense. I'll take your Tengayo away. I'm gonna, I do have to use one to move down. In case I F this up real bad, I'm gonna claim this as a simple blitz move. All right, and then I just, one, three, six, and now I gotta see if I hit him. 
Uh, and then a d4. Come on. Yes! Hey. 14 to blitz him. I'm jumping in with a kick. He rolled a 7 for his dodge. Okay. So that does, <laughs> in fact, land. Oh, yeah. I'm enraged, so I get uh, a plus 2 to this damage as well. Oh, damn. So um, 24 for that. One second. Once per combat round. Yep. All right. I'm going to take <clears throat> this chance. Burning Anger is going to take away 2 soak value. That's good, because this thing has a crazy amount of soak. Oh, I, I also forgot to mention, it does look visibly damaged. Like, whatever okay. fight went on beforehand, this thing definitely took some major hits. That's good. Just to make it easy, I'm just going to throw a simple punch. And then... Oh, okay. And then... Okay, that's going to be 13 to hit him. He botched. All right. Dang. Here we go. All right, it's gonna be 12 more damage. Every time I want to blitz, I have to move. So that was my full turn. In that case, we have V up next. Okay, let's go. First, we're gonna lock on, make sure I have him in my sights. Then, sure, we'll just go ahead and throw a regular sphere of energy, spending two key. I might, do, okay, hang on. I might actually think that up. Do a guy instead spend four key as he like, again, points out his fingers and kind of like a finger gun salute fires off and is gonna try and hit him with a critical. So we just gotta roll and see what we get. Okay, that's 10 to hit. Okay. No way. Seven. Sorry, uh, I, I, know, I know that we agreed not to react to chat, but someone's mentioning something about the gameplay and I'm like, there's no way I get a fourth action each round. Oh, wait a minute. Don't, uh, oh, are you telling me now? <laughs> Uh, where were we? I'm sorry, uh, V. That's all right. I threw a... He needs a dodge roll. The value was 10. He got a 6. Cool. So nice. Getting, okay, so damage can be 1. The 10 plus 6. Ha! Oh, ah! That was really close. Ooh. That's okay. 8 damage. I regret to inform you that does not get past the soak value. Damn, I'm sorry. You Dang. Need to roll anything higher than a 2. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It isn't over <laughs> yet. Uh, because we're going to take an instant action to power surge to throw out the signature technique. Yeah. As he throws him, he sees this blow glance off and he's like, all right, let's try something with a little more punch. As that spear of energy gathers, he reels back and hurls victory spear. Yeah. Oh God, please go well. Plus six to hit and then a d4 on top of that. Yeah. Ooh, oh, okay. oh, good chances, good chances. Ooh. 13 and then two. So 15, 15 to hit. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Eight. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> all right, give me all those stats on that victory spear again. Okay, so it'll have knockback after the wound roll. Oh, Calming. how much so knockback? Well, it could throw him off the cliff. No, it's supposed to be a d4. Oh, no, wait, that's wound. Sorry. So 14 points of direct damage. 14 points of direct. And then after striking and wounding a character, make an opposed force ability check. If he loses, if you win, move the struck character a number of squares away from you equal to your tier of power plus half your force ability modifier. Oh, one other thing I need to do real quick. That just knocked him into the injured threshold. So oh, steadfast save. Oh, dang. Yeah. Nice. He passed his steadfast save. Uh, yeah, dang. but when you showed up, he was at about half health. So he was already bloodied by the time you guys got here. It can, uh, can he bleed? Technically, no. He's leaking a lot of oil Samurai Jack style. All right, so contested force check, let's go. Oh, that's, that's good. Be a 15. That's really good. Uh, he rolled 20. Oh. oh, okay, so nothing happens. His force is ludicrous. <laughs> that, <laughs> I, I, I that, would make, that would make sense. The spear uh, lodges itself inside of his chest cavity with lightning and sparks flying out of it as the damage is dealt severely. Ah. However, the tracks in its feet stay rooted in place and it does not budge an inch <laughs> as it takes this blast. What dirty fireworks. That's so, right. Go for, for it. For my third action, we're going to use the power up maneuver. Oh, shit. <laughs> we haven't used this one yet. So he throws it out. He heaves a breath, having just thrown a lot out. And then he just kind of like tightens his stance, lets out a brief little kiop of energy. 
Okay, and because it gives me capacity again, I can throw out one last spherical key blast. Just a regular little little baby blast, but it'll do. Well, that's what he gets for being a big dude. One. Oh, uh, oh, whoa, oh, that oh, 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 I'm not even gonna fucking roll. He he doesn't dodge. He doesn't. He oh, doesn't my dodge. God. This. <laughs> He doesn't in. dodge this. Even if he crit twice, he couldn't dodge that. And then he reels back for one last baseball fastball of energy towards its dumb face with 12 <laughs> points of damage. Yeah. Prince, you have four actions to play I with. Know, I know. Uh, okay. We're gonna try this. In classic anti-fashion. <laughs> no promises. Um, I believe in you. We're gonna try and do kind of what uh, V was trying to do. Um, and I'm going Ooh. to cast Telekinesis on the monkey. <laughs> Down the so mountain. All right, he's gonna Great. roll. Great. All right, that's an 11 for him. Okay, come on. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I need, I need a good roll, I need a- Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, okay. okay, according to my skull, if I succeed, I can lift and throw him a number of squares equal to twice my force or spirit modifier, whichever is higher. Use the rules for throwing seen under the yeah. gravel. I throw him off the cliff. You throw him off the cliff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, I don't, think Cody has I don't know if that's I'm an sure. instant thing or if he just takes a lot of fall damage. You, um, you uh, cast your telekinesis and you get your hold on this thing just barely. It was so close to avoiding you, but you lift it up in the air as you do and you just send it throwing uh, towards the ravine. As it's spinning through the air though, it turns around and its eyes glow bright glowing red as it aims its uh, arm cannon your direction. Okay, okay, okay. But before it fires, you hear a voice call out, Mow! As two figures launch away from that cave and just collide with it, one at the top of the head and one at the base of the feet and go soaring across it, sending it spinning through the air. As it's spinning from a further away distance, your scouters actually go off as they detect a power level growing fast. Whoa. Uh, from a distance, you see a bright yellow charge of someone powering up, and you hear out a call of, Masenko! Ha! Ooh. As a bright beam comes out and completely evaporates this robot flipping through the air. <laughs> nice. Is that the same power as before? V would uh, probably like to go look out over the edge to see what's going on. <laughs> Whoa. Prince, you would be able to confirm that those are the power levels that you felt earlier on. They are the same people. It is in fact Squad 22. Hey, that's Yo. Squad 22! <laughs> oh my gosh! Hey, I'm and also going over here. This I <laughs> was looking at something on my another page. <laughs> Uh, this guy is gone now. Yep. Farewell. Listen, next time we're gonna kill it with the stealth tactics. I think it was a solid we, plan. Yeah, no, it definitely was. And we even managed <laughs> to get advantage out of the architect. And then, you know, fate decided, no, you're here to punch things. I feel like a moron. I didn't even consider just, that. But then you guys are like, just like, oh, we're gonna hide in the trees. And I'm just like, no, yeah. oh shit, that's good. Yeah. Celery tries to sneak and then she looks up and in the clouds, Mufasa's face comes down. He's like, remember who you are. And she hits a tree <laughs> and, ha and has to go and punch things instead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you say that's squad 22, huh? You hear, uh, Cinemo come over the, uh, scouter and just say, Yep, that would be them. Hey, you guys down there? At the moment, they're actually up in the air. Uh, well, yeah. never mind. Celery is waving her, using her entire arm to wave. Oh. They must have their license. I mean, you can f*** on the job, just not in this yeah, city. Yeah, I know, uh, I know. Uh, the two people in the air come landing down. You see a pair of human women, one significantly shorter than the other. Hey, you two all right? Uh, uh, the shorter one starts. Uh, yeah, thanks for that, guys. No Ooh. problem. Got the SOS and made our way over. We're uh, Squad 26. Pleasure to meet you guys. Squad 22. The taller one comes over, puts her hand on the other one's shoulder, and holds out her other hand up for a uh, shake. Uh, v will extend his hand. I'm V. This is Celery. She doesn't talk much. I wave. And they'll just kind of gesture for Prince to introduce themselves. Prince, 
<laughs> I'm Quince. I don't know if my voice got cut off there. Oh, well, pleasure to meet you three. My name is Latte. This is Mocha. Yeah! <laughs> More <laughs> coffee! Ah. <laughs> Pleasure I to meet you both. Our third should be coming back right about now. Mocha latte. Let me guess. Java. No, oh, that's, that's a good one. No, but yeah. Somebody, somebody get on that. Write that down. Write, write that, that down. down. Write that down. <laughs> from there, the other one, the one from a distance away who fired the large blast, flies up to the group. Uh, this one, a uh, slightly taller man who comes up says, Mocha, latte, you two all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll be all right. Come say hi to the guys who just saved our asses. Hey, uh, hey, hey. that's us. <laughs> he comes up. Pleasure to meet you guys. Name's Frap. <laughs> nice to meet you, Frap. What happened? That thing didn't seem like it should have given you that much trouble. Uh, you didn't see it when it first showed up. Plus, it was a bit of a surprise. The job only meant to deal with two of those. And th that one was a surprise third. A oh. few models higher, too. We whittled it about halfway down, but it just got too much. Uh, you can actually see uh, the shorter girl, Mocha, was there. Uh, she's actually been holding on to her left arm uh, while she was talking, because it was uh, it's got a pretty sizable gash on it. Aww. It certainly was sturdy. I'll give it that. Hit it with everything I got and barely pushed it back. Yeah thing was a monster. Be glad it didn't actually get to hit you. But you guys were one hell of a team. You went straight to it like a complete nightmare. Hell yeah, we are. Team 26. Can I already make a gang sign with the number 26? Just throw an extra finger. I... I could do that. Well, you would need two extra fingers. I, I... Yeah. The taller woman responds, Did you all just graduate as well? I feel like I saw you a few times back at the academy. Yeah, really, this is only day two on the job. <laughs> well, same for the three of us. I suppose we bit off a little more than we could chew. If it, like you said, there was a surprise attack from an unknown party. If you took down the first two, then hey, don't beat yourself up over it. <laughs> You're right, I suppose. You did awesome. Don't worry about it. I know we weren't here to see it, but I'm sure you yeah. guys kicked ass. <laughs> I mean, we saw that final attack. The Masenko, I think. Oh, yeah. You like that? Uh, yeah, that was tight. <laughs> little something I picked up from, uh, while at the school. Teaching us some of those lessons from the older fighters. Oh, that's cool. Okay, okay. He Looking what? into taking a few extra classes myself, so maybe I'll have to look into that. Pick up a few new tricks myself. Yeah, saw those sign-up sheets. Might try and get in a few if we can spare the time. Usually in our downtime, we actually help out at the cafe. That one that, uh, Mr. Espresso opened? Yeah. yeah. Makes a mean cup of joe. And he's a hell of a trainer, too. You wouldn't believe how hard working at that place can be. He runs you around for hours. Oh my god. Hell of a workout, though. Oh my god. Espresso Sensei. Speak, speaking of, might be good to go ahead and head back before anything else decides to show up. Uh, Latte, with a little concern, uh, is going to say, Yes, we absolutely should. Looking down at Mocha. Oh. Yeah. Aww. Hey, Cinema. Everything's cleared up here. Got you guys. Give us just a minute and all of you will be back home. So uh, Sully's going to make the peace later sign and wave. They will all wave back as well. And with that, you feel the glow of the time machine pulling you back into Canton City. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Hey, Cinema, what's up? <sighs> Thanks again for that. Uh, that was a bit of a sticky situation for them. You guys really pulled through. Celery does her motion for a, like, good job or a thank you, which is placing a hand on uh, Cinema's shoulder and just nodding. I don't know if that's, I don't know, I don't know if he knows that, but that's what Celery does. He's mildly concerned. He's like, what's she doing? What's she doing? It's a roll of the just dice. Just a little bit. It's, it's a roll of the dice if they're like, oh, that's what that means. Or if they're like, uh, why doesn't she blink? Is this a threat? Uh, he's probably somewhere in the middle right now, but Boone looks over pretty confused. Just like, what? What's uh, she doing there? How are you guys holding up, by the way? I know two in a row like that is definitely going to drain you. Ah, honestly, feeling all right. A little scuffed, but nothing a, a quick bite to eat probably will fix. <laughs> two thumbs up. Okay. You do, oh, yeah. Prince, how are you doing, bud? Uh, you don't okay. bounce back quite so fast. No, not, not really, but I, I'm okay. Going to the class and checking that out after a meal of course sounds like a good idea many hand signs later sounds good we'll meet you in the business district celery takes the cinnamon stick out of her pocket and like waves it as they're leaving where was still like i don't know what she thinks of me 
I, is that a threat? <laughs> It'd be hilarious if, if Cinemo didn't know why she carried a cinnamon stick. Oh, she keeps good. showing it to me like I'm supposed to know what it means. She doesn't even give it to me. She just puts it back in her pocket, which I hope is clean. <laughs> yes. I hope it's clean in there. I don't know. Oh, wait, we got to turn this quest in first. Oh, wait, oh, yeah. yeah. We got to get, we gotta get paid. paid. You're still on the mountain. I am still on the mountain. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm going to hang out with you guys. Maybe we get paid for the one that we did take. And because the SOS was very sudden, it could be dealt with like at a later time. We each, yeah. get, we each get a Hercule medallion. We're like, what? Do we now what do with that? What is this? What is? It, it does, <laughs> it's useless. What is this? Damn, kind of that's thing? not a bad it's idea. <laughs> it's not even a medal. It's a sticker. God. No, this is worthless. <laughs> it's less than worthless. <laughs> <laughs> As the three of you enter the familiar bento box establishment, sure enough, you see Zarin behind the counter working diligently as always. I'm gonna order a triple meat bento. I'm feeling it today. Ah, squad 26. How is everyone doing today? Riding high, my friend. Riding high. Knocked out another mission cleanly and even managed to lend some support to uh, another squad. My oh my! Well, a group of heroes needs quite a decent meal for a reward. What will it be? I mean, I, I, <laughs> I just point. I'm like, I want the one with all the meat you can shove onto it. All right, yep. You just reach up and touch the menu. Boop! Yeah, with I don't think I have fingerprints, <laughs> so it's nothing to worry about. Fingerprints? It's not what I'm worried about when you talk about <laughs> That's fair. It's the fact that like a snail slime comes off in my head. And no, I oh, God, no. <laughs> I'm not like disgusted. Like I don't want to think about what happens if celery ever gets a cold. It probably is weird and gross. Mm. I'm, per I'm perfectly fine. There's no COVID in outer space. It's fine. <laughs> I think V's just going to order some shrimp tempura box with an extra serving in there for the heck of it. I'll have a tofu box again. Neat. Coming right up, everyone. <laughs> Have a seat. Ah. He'll just get to work, and you all take a nice little spot somewhere inside and just mm. decompress for a bit. This, this is good stuff. I just sit down and just like, mm. ah, it's kind of rocking in my chair. Yeah. How you doing, Celery? It seems like you've been getting a little more amped past couple of fights. You doing okay? Big ol' thumbs up. Yeah, so the little mini celeries was was cool. It was new. <laughs> uh, She's clapping like, yeah, new things. Are they like part of your consciousness or do they become their own entity and then experience ego death when they like get reabsorbed? What's the deal here? Uh, <laughs> so, so we're just gonna stare for a long moment. And then just nod. V leans down to Prince. I don't like the implications of that. I don't think she really knows. I'm kind of worried about her. I don't think she really knows either. She's like, well, they do kind of have a mind of their own, but also I feel it, so. Do you need to talk about this? Like, it, it, it's a, she's going to relay <laughs> that, like, it wasn't a bad thing and it doesn't feel like a bad thing. It seems like a good thing. She signs it specifically, uh, makes the symbol for Prince and, like the, like, the blocking gesture. So she's like, they were good because they were able to defend Prince. And it's really okay. nice that they did that. I'm just, I want to make sure you're okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, she nods. She, she's fine. She's fine. Uh, Celery's gonna make the symbol for V and ask, like, how was it fighting Tien? He looks so cool. Oh, he's tough. Man's a badass stone cold for sure, but oh, it was exhilarating. If nothing else, fighting him has just told me how much I can step up my game here. His technique is flawless. The man is studied to hell and back. It really puts a lot of my wild swings into perspective. <laughs> so we're asked the same thing of Prince. Like, how did you feel about the battle? Uh, it went pretty good, I think. The <laughs> biggest smackdown I've ever seen. I feel so bad for Yamcha. <laughs> I just, uh -huh. Let's go. And he just gets demolished by this little tiny child. Hey, he got a pretty good shot in on Celery. Yeah, yeah he got his wolf fang fist. Tien never got out his tri-beam. A good we would die. <laughs> <laughs> with that, from behind you, Zarin oh comes up with your boxes and says, Well, at this job, I'm sure you'll get the chance at some point. Quests keep changing up day by day. I wonder oh. how often we'll get to interface with the same people. That is interesting, considering we're dealing with weird fluctuations in time and whatnot. <laughs> Let's get philosophical. Like, I wonder if we'll ever have to fight, like, 
weird evil alternate versions of characters like evil espresso espresso's too <laughs> badass he's too what good if, like it's mind controlled i've heard of villains doing stuff like that well then oh what if he doesn't have his coffee oh man you're right what wait no what if evil espresso is like drinks tea or he only drinks <gasps> tea oh my god that's horrifying god. evil espresso is just black. chai chamomile like the most gentlest of teas espresso so black <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Proud of myself. I can actually read a little bit of this uh, Japanese here. What that, does it say? That top part, the big letters, that definitely says, like, the school area. Around the time your guys' food shows up, I'll say Cinemo and Boone make it to the restaurants and get their own orders set in. Hey, guys, over here. Aha, there they are. Right, Here we so are. I know we're, we're agreed that if we ever have to fight Spresso, we just run away because that's no <laughs> I can't even there's imagine no it. I think he might be the world's mightiest warrior. Could be the next world champion. Ha <laughs> ha! I can hear it now. It's almost <laughs> like he's here. You've won the competition. Right. How do you feel? Is just gonna say like, I guess you guys got hit a little harder than we thought we did out there today. No, <laughs> listen, you're not wrong. So, okay. what were you all planning for the rest of the day? I uh, got some <laughs> training to take care of, I think. Oh yeah, that's right. You signed up for tutelage. Oh, you'll have to let me know what it's like. I haven't met these two yet. Bell and Gong, huh? Have you heard anything? Are they like? Lloyd? I know that they're both retirees from the Time Patrol. They were working in it until a little while ago. They left before the squad restructuring took place. They should be great instructors, especially in their fields. I remember hearing that apparently Professor Bell is actually an Earthling with an extremely talented at magic, for one. How about Professor Gong? He's also an Earthling. Why is it that that one little planet turns out so many strong fighters? Gods themselves have asked that question. No one can seem to figure out what it is about Earth. <laughs> also heard they have some crazy good food down there. Like, they've got more than just two places where you can get food. <laughs> okay, A, fuck you. <laughs> Celery will nod, like, vigorously, like, oh, yeah, lots of food, so much food. Oh, uh, I'm going to try a new tactic with eating. Oh, uh, I'm excited. Because there's so much on this bento, probably gonna, I'm going to tilt it up and just let it fall into my face. Oh, that's horrible. So I was experimenting, he's like, what's not as weird? What's not as messy? Let me try it this way and just bleh, like all of it just falls into her face. I, I'll, I'll walk over to there was a Namekian and a Majin and, uh, and another an one. And an an earthling. Earthling. I'll just go over. Oh. <laughs> Why my phone talking? Oh, it's over okay. to be our classmate. <laughs> the professor will be here soon. I, I'll, I'll just uh, introduce myself. I go, hey, hey, I Prince. This is how you make friends, I think. The Namekian seems to keep to himself, but uh, the Earthling will stand up. Uh, we'll just say like, hello there. Uh, you're here for the magic lesson, I assume? It'd be kind of silly if I wasn't. Professor Bell tends to fall behind a few times. He should be here pretty soon, I'm willing to bet. What's your name? Oh, uh, hi, my name's Coos. It's really nice to meet you, Coos. I'm Prince. I know I said that, but I'm gonna say it again. Looking forward to seeing what you've got. There aren't exactly a whole lot of people like you around here. Oh, small. Okay. Yeah, no, it's for <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's just a lot of, like, big, muscular people around here. But that makes sense. I'm not big and muscular. Yeah, that's, that's okay. That's definitely it. He does go to open his mouth. But uh, <laughs> before that, you hear a little rustling through the bamboo. And someone comes out saying, sorry, sorry, everyone. It's someone who's carrying a very large stack of books in front of themselves. Mm -hmm. And seems to have a few little pieces floating around them as he's walking up to the location. Oh, do, do you need help? I can help. <laughs> uh, if you wouldn't mind taking a few of these books from me. Oh, no problem. I'll grab as many as I could possibly carry. All right. I think you get enough to at least uncover his face from behind the okay. stack. Hey, 
Hi. Uh, you see an earthling male. You would wager uh, somewhere around his mid thirties or so with short gray hair. Um, behind his bangs, you can actually see a third eye on his forehead just peeking out from behind them. He got that third eye. Hi. I'm Prince! Oh, well, hello there, Prince. He sets down the books and with a display of magic, a small little rug that he had in his pack on his shoulder and the items floating around him lay themselves out and out on the ground. My name is Professor Bell. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. It's a pleasure to meet you. I wave. Uh, <laughs> I'm so excited about this. As you saw on the flyer, as I assume the reason you're here, we're here to go over the basics of magic and some principles in advancing that path. I'm sure it shows, and he looks at you with a um, rather surprised look on his face, for sure, because he definitely was not expecting a Shinjin to be here <laughs> learning from him. He looks at me, I go, I know, I'm very small. <laughs> Pleasure, sir. I am V, and this is my friend, Celery. Celery salutes. Well, welcome to the lesson. Gong is another earthling, as has been said before. He is a bit of a tall man, about six feet tall. You'd wager also in about his mid-30s. He's got rather long, dark dreads for his hair. And possibly his most defining feature is the large staff that he carries next to him with yeah. um, two nubbed, you would assume, heavy metal spheres on each end. All right, everyone. Welcome. It's nice to see such a good turnout for this. As per usual on first days, it's good for me to try and gauge where everyone stands at the moment. So we're going to start with some light warm-ups, and then we'll all be pairing off into groups. I want to see a little sparring to see how everyone is. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh no. <laughs> and I am in fact absolutely going to put the two of you uh, in this first sparring lesson to see yes. how we are. It seems so soon yes. for this to happen, but let's go! So we're not going to do a full battle. We're not mm. going to do that. No? That's fair. For the purposes of this sparring encounter, what I believe we're going to do are a uh, best of five opposed skill checks. Ooh, okay. Okay, like okay. All right. Before getting too far in, I would like to get a little grasp on how far along everyone is with their magic practice, just to see what exactly sort of range we're starting at. He's gonna go into the little sack that he carries on his side. He's got like one of those old like shoulder messenger bags that he tends to walk around with very often. Uh, he's gonna reach in and he's gonna pull out a small strange little cube Ooh. and he's going to pass that along to Kuz first. This may look like an ordinary little stone box, but it's actually an old toy from Earth far, far Ooh. long ago when Ooh. there were more magic practitioners. Are you gonna say it's a Rubik's cube? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. It responds to the magical forces exerted onto it, and if done properly, it can be shaped into whatever you'd like to make it. I'd like to everyone to apply a little magic force to it and see if you can shape it into something else. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start with Kuz. Uh, you get the feeling that Kuz has probably been a student to this man at some point before. Uh, he might even be studying in the academy at the moment. And we're gonna start and see if he can make this happen. Yes, he can. Goku's. Bit of a throwback. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, it is. I'm here for it. My god, the Budokai stuff is loud. Okay, there we go. Uh, for <laughs> these, I think we'll keep it simple. They're going to be opposed force slash agility checks. All right, let's, All right. let's do this then. Yeah. <laughs> Watch oh, the for I crit! Uh-oh. That's my first All roll. Right. We'll also say that these are solid dice. Oh, I, I rolled a D zero. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's not quite right. <laughs> Do we count it? Because I mean, right. no, wait, we can't no. count it. Oh, <laughs> roll. You uh, bought. Oh, technically, I have an ability that could negate. We'll say that you can still use that. You can go ahead and get another roll if you want. Okay. What? No, no, that's fine. That's that's number. I'm. I got other things. Dang it. Yeah. So everyone uh, lines up, and as Gong calls out, "All right, everyone, keep it friendly." Well, these are just quick strike matches. And go! 
And I whiff. And yeah. a punch. V goes for a uh, strong overhead strike, and Celery just ducks down and gets a nice little shot down in your stomach. Real, <laughs> a real quick and clean punch. Uh, not bad. I forget how fast you are sometimes. Rude, but thank you. <laughs> I, I'm not actually saying this. So I can that. read your facial expressions. <laughs> What yeah, facial expression? Know, <laughs> no, just, uh, Celery's just kind of, like, bouncing in place excitedly, like, yeah! Uh, he takes this little stone-looking cube in his hands. Uh, he closes his eyes, takes a deep breath, and then there is a, um, small glow around his hands as the cube starts to float in between them. And with a small little exertion that, Prince, you are able to feel, he shapes it into Ooh. just the form of a little knife. That he holds in his hands. Ooh, Jerry. You both uh, take a step back, get back into position, and go. Yeah. Much better. Let's go. Uh, it didn't. Okay, mine didn't physically come on the screen. Ah, dang it. No, but it's, yeah, that's okay. 15 to 13, Victor's favor. Not this time. Yeah, she goes for the same sort of like duck down and go for the stomach. And this time, uh, you do manage to catch her by like uh, knocking the hand out of the way. And just like backhand tapping her in the face. Ow! Bop, bop, bop. Wonder what it's like to punch her. She just kind of one to one shakes it off and gets ready again. And Couscous will hand it on to the Majin next to him. Uh, she does not pass that one. Aww. She takes it in her hands and she tries to force it a little too much, but she seems to be using the wrong source of power, so to speak. She doesn't seem to be manipulating magic as well as she is trying to push, like, key or her, in, her <gasps> internal energy. Uh, and okay. after after a few <laughs> seconds, she just has... Ah, man. <laughs> and begin! <laughs> oh! Well... <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, can it be a really cool oh, thing where, like, up. our fists clash at the same time against each other? Uh, there's a punch and a deflect, and yeah. then the two fists just collide <laughs> against each other yeah. as you both take a step back. Uh, so, like, draw, no score. I All believe right. in you both! <laughs> Prince, where are you? And she'll pass it along to the Namek. They came up just shy of being able to make it happen as well. He gets it in his hands. He seems to have a bit more grasp of it, but he's very clearly struggling. And as he's trying, it starts to move its shape. But the most that he kind of manages is making the blade of this little stone knife shorter and the handle a bit fatter. <laughs> Try! Good job! That wasn't quite enough, was it? Well, you, you moved it a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> a good try, though. We'll learn more about this as time goes on. Hmm. Just gonna shake out her arm and then swing. <laughs> All right, this one's for real. Gotcha! Oh, damn it, not real enough. This time, let's say uh, V goes for a uh, quick leg sweep, but Celery hops up and like handstands on top of V's head for a second. <laughs> oh, come as, on! like flipping over, and she flips over and just like tags him with her foot on the back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now you're just showing off. Oh, hell yeah, I am. And he'll hand it over to you, Prince. Is this? Wow, a he's so charismatic. <laughs> I love characters like this. Is he green or is he like a weird color? All right, Prince, uh, if you could give me a target number medium roll of just a use magic skill check, which mm -hmm. with your use magic, I'm not sure you can fail, but... If they botch it, they can just re-roll. It's fine. Actually, yeah, that's Christ, true. That's right, he can do that. Oh, whatever. What do we got? <laughs> the, fact, wow. the, fact that some, the fact that the fact that someone earlier said that Prince just crits all the time, and that was no. that was like twenty minutes ago. Fuck this. An actual god. Does that I mean? Do, do they technically roll another one? Is no. I make it into because I got twenty. I'm gonna make it kind of a little intricate. It's like a ornate lowe's looking thing i knew it i like loses i know <sighs> almost as soon as the damn thing touches your hand it practically turns to clay in your hands as you are just able to do 
whatever you want with this thing. Yay! I did it! And as you do so, there is a slight spike in your power sort of flow out, and Professor Bell's eyes widen a little bit when he feels that. Tranquility. Staring at the bamboo <laughs> forest. Yeah. I Acing my first <laughs> test. <laughs> and then it cuts to, like, celery and... and <laughs> He just like all right pivots kind of resets his footing moves in in like a low sweep what oh oh that's dang on my screen no oh, god and Wait, that's so... three Whoa. i'm fast yeah. I, i'll say that she'll she dodges another and it's just like right in his face and then just like <laughs> like tiny punch god. to his nose <laughs> yep i'm not used to fighting someone so damned acrobatic <laughs> <laughs> and if my understanding of best of five is correct I believe <laughs> the, that would mean that Celery takes this bar. I did yep. it! Yatta! Yeah. She does the pose where like her hands are up in the air and she has like the two like victory V's in the air. She takes out her dry erase marker, wipes off her old mouth, and then put, draws on a really big smile. Aww. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> Aww. And she holds out her hand for a handshake to V. He'll, he'll return the GG's handshake. <laughs> All right, everyone, that's enough. Back in line. And for the next, I'd say about half hour or so, you're just put through some uh, pretty rigorous exercises and uh, training drills. <sighs> How'd your lessons go, friends? Hi. Um, Hi. They went really well. I made lots of new friends. Excellent. Sweet. Glad to hear it. No, I didn't. I don't know why I said that. In Prince's <laughs> eyes, those are all his new friends. Celery makes the motion of like, we did some sparring, of course. It's just like points at V, points at her, and then just like bangs her fists together. Yeah, we oh, wow. we Good fought. Job. Friends yeah. fight all the time. I yeah. don't know if that part is true, but all you guys don't look too upset the with time. each other. So. <laughs> it was a good match. I definitely need to put in some work. Uh, she is going to point to the inside of the cafe where Espresso is presumably behind the counter and kind of be like, I was thinking about asking if he's got extra training too that's an interesting idea i also had some questions for boone something just occurred to me but we should definitely talk to espresso if you'd like to poke your head into the uh, cafe for a little bit i'm gonna poke my whole body into the cafe I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna walk in let, let me make sure i'm interpreting this correctly did celery want to be like hey i want to go talk to espressos okay just for me well it was definitely like hey do you want to do this with me because i um i need someone to ask him for me oh I oh see. yeah that's oh, fine you would definitely be like I'm oh not yeah, yeah i got you like, i got you sometimes celery lingo can be interpreted by the average joe but not always it's easier with friends you know nudge nudge mm. come on come on come on uh, come on yeah I, <laughs> excuse me mr espresso this time you go inside though uh you actually do not see espresso behind the counter right now god dang it uh, you just hear someone say hello welcome to the cafe <laughs> uh, I'm intimidated. Hello. Who, who is this person? <laughs> who is this? Uh, behind the counter, there is a woman with, let's say, short brown hair pulled back uh, and a pair of rectangle glasses and a very sort of expressionless look on her face. That's great for customer uh, service, I hear. Uh, hi there. <laughs> we were hoping to speak with Mr. Espresso. Is he available? Oh, right. He is a little busy with orders at the moment. Is there anything I can help with? All right, he delivers uh, everything on foot. Do you have any idea when he'll be back? It shouldn't take more than five minutes, knowing how fast he tends to move. Play like Cody, can I point. take a guess on this person's name? <laughs> is it like some form of chamomile? Uh, it is not. Is, is this it? Java? I may have stolen. I, I may knew have it. Stolen. So I guess we'll just wait for triple espresso. We're about to go to Two bed in, in a couple hours, Whoa. Prince. It's, it's, Two in it's... one day, goddamn. Uh, and she's gonna turn around and just start grabbing the few pieces you need. Hey, she she give either of you guys the heebie-jeebies too, or is it, that just me? While she's I doing think she that, just has problems communicating. I think she's bored. Uh, while she's doing that, someone comes bursting through the little like uh, <laughs> door to the side of the counter that leads back to the kitchen. And you see it is actually Mocha, the shorter woman that you met earlier today on the job. Oh, hey there. Hey, hey. Coming through everybody, I gotta go. 
Whoa, okay. okay. Bye. Uh, she, she is carrying a uh, couple stacks of uh, what seem to be like to-go cups of coffee. And her arm is wrapped up from the wound that she took earlier, but it seems to have been fixed up very well. And she doesn't seem to be too bothered by it anymore. Before she leaves, though, there's another call as Latte comes out from the same door. Mocha, wait a second, <laughs> comes up to her. Uh, and just really fast, like, all right, you forgot this order. This one goes farther down the block. And don't forget your little hat. Puts it on. All right, be careful out there. <laughs> All right, thanks, babe. Turns around and boom, out of the uh, building. Oh, the like smoke trail behind her. <laughs> oh, jeez, she's fast. Oh, hello, that was you three. Uh, hey, a little courteous bow. Thank you again for the help earlier today. Of course, no problem. Always happy to help. You seem to have caught us at our uh, part-time spot. Indeed. As it happens, we were actually hoping to speak with Mr. Espresso. He kind of like turns to Celery and just, I think we're curious what kind of uh, training he can offer. Well, I can vouch for it. It's hard work, but he certainly gets you the results you're looking for, especially with that aggressive style of his. It's a perfect match for someone like Mocha. Uh, Does yeah. someone just start vibrating? I don't know, just the excitement of like, yeah, difficult training, progress. I take it that my friend behind the counter is a little busy. I'll go uh, talk to Espresso and see if he can come out. I'll let him know you're here. Sweet. Thank you. Uh, I don't, actually, am I here? Uh, yeah, I think I'm probably here. <laughs> oh yeah, I ordered coffee. I'm stupid. Yeah, so at that point, um, the woman behind the desk comes back. Here's your order, everybody. I hope you enjoy. And bow softly. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope you have a good day. You as well. Thank you. I'm See? really worried about her. Oh my god, She's wait. She's scary, right? Wait, wait, is she? Can we tell what race she is? Yeah, she would just be another Earthling. Okay, I thought for a second she was another android, which would be funny. Yeah, but... do you have an yeah. android, though, named Java? No, exactly. Like, how many other androids are there? I guess it would be hard to tell. So I just kind of like mean... leans over and pokes V's arm. Then pokes his shoulder, then pokes his cheek, yeah, then yeah, pokes yeah, his knee. It's so, like, can can you tell what's metal? Like, eh. uh, oh <laughs> wait, hang on. He'll click the scouter and see if Java gives off any energy signatures. Not really. I guess like even standard humans tend to get something. It comes up with like an eight. No, not an android, as far as I can tell. Celery <laughs> starts to get up, like with her hand still in like the poking formation, just like maybe I have to go ah, poke her. Ah, 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 ah. Don't do that. Maybe not a good <laughs> idea. I would recommend against. <laughs> celery sits um, back down. Celery, it's rude to poke people on, you know. After just a few minutes, uh, the door to the kitchen opens again, and this time Spresso does indeed come out. <laughs> hello! Oh, to see you again. How did I forget? <laughs> uh, hello, Mr. Spresso. Um, <clears throat> My friends and I were curious uh, if you had any more positions available for students. Yeah, Latte and Java said something about someone wanting to help. Yeah, my friend Celery in particular is very excited. I quickly to, stand up and bow. Uh, to undertake your your teachings. I probably knocked over yeah. my chair. Uh, he'll bow back just as quickly. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, we want training if possible. I think we might have a spot or two left for another helper in the store. Oh. I will warn you, most of your training basically consists of working in this shop. I make every day as instructful as I can. I'm so ready. Well, Celery, you want to give it a when? When would she start? I guess hmm. she would only be needed a couple of days a week, along with all the help from the others that I already get. That's fair. But if she wanted to, I suppose she could start tomorrow or the day after. Yes. Day after. Put me on the list for tomorrow. All right. Glad to hear it. Cody, do I do I get a work outfit? <laughs> Did she get a uniform? Do I do I get an apron and a hat? It might be a little. You might be able to get a little apron and a hat, I suppose. I'll draw that for yes. next time. Yeah. Sally will <laughs> like stand up right and salute, throw it out there intensely. Uh, an equal salute, almost like banging himself in the head with it. Hell yeah, that's my level. <laughs> And then he'll uh, turn around and just power walk his way back into the kitchen. Yay! <laughs> Celery makes the symbol for thank you and the hand sign for V. Speaking of, I need to go uh, make a call really quick. I'd join you in training, but I may have other things going on. I don't know if it's uncouth to just take scouter calls in a restaurant or whatever. But... <laughs> eh, probably not. Probably not. Uh, I'll be right back. So he's going to step outside, just click the button. Hey, uh, Cinema or Boone, 
I actually need to speak with Boone specifically if she's available. Guys, you there? Hello? After a few seconds, there's a little uh, there's a little sound of some fiddling around, and then you hear uh, Cinema's voice on the other end, just, V? That you? Uh, yeah. What's up? I was just going to see about setting up a, a meeting with Boone. She seemed uh, to have some inclination <clears throat> about, like, uh, cybernetics, mechanical, mechanically inclined things, etc. And I would be, I'm actually curious if she would be willing to help me out with some things. Oh, yeah, she did seem pretty excited about that. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can- Baby, you said you wanted to meet up? Oh, uh, hey, <laughs> Boone. Yeah, obviously it doesn't have to be this today since it's so late and all, but if you got some time tomorrow, I'd like to discuss some Android things. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, she's so happy. I feel like the scatter pops off of his head when that happens and he has to like <laughs> catch it. He's like, oh shit. Um, yeah. Huh. Sounds <laughs> great. I'll meet you at the lab tomorrow and whenever you guys get done with your quest, we can talk more. Yes. Sounds good. You guys have a good night and I'll catch you tomorrow. <laughs> uh, you too. All right. See you then. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, have made her I, so happy. And, uh, clearly. We accomplished a lot today. Like a lot. Go team. I will also, I'll say this now. I don't know if we want to do it, but I will say uh, after the jobs that you all have gone on for the last couple days and the fact that you have now begun training in earnest, you all have in fact leveled up. <gasps> uh, you are ready for your first level up. We get to yeah. level up. The next day, everyone, of course, after your day was finished, you all went about your day however you chose to, uh, reveling in your newfound power, perhaps. Yep, <laughs> go on. I do yoga with just a little bit more intensity and go to sleep. And V is running laps on the stairs, I guess. <laughs> As morning comes, you all meet as you normally do and make your way along to get ready to select your first job of the day. Hey, um, where's Prince? Not <laughs> like to run late. Yeah, sorry, I was, I was, I was looking at something. A Prince, bug. Prince comes running up with a piece of toast in his mouth. Where'd you even get that? Where did you get toast? Uh, I go with toast, and the toast disappears. Oh god, it was imperial <laughs> toast. On your way there, however, there is one little sight that stops you on your way as you're approaching the fountain in the uh, recreational plaza there. You see a couple familiar faces, uh, Pato and Karakel staring yeah. at the uh, holographic uh, statue. At the moment, it is actually currently showing Pato himself. Oh, um, hey, hey. <laughs> huh. It shows him shining and on the pedestal, it reads, Fastest rising patroller. Mm. What did he do that we did? <sighs> Celery's gonna reach into her pocket and pull out a potato and wave. Did you um, get a potato? <laughs> uh, <laughs> potato button. <laughs> um, what did you do? Button. button. On your way up, uh, he hasn't quite noticed you yet because he's looking up at his own image and seems pretty pleased with himself. What do I got to roll to throw the potato through the hologram? Well, before that... Damn it. Okay. Um, please do it, please do it. Uh, his face does sour a little bit as the image fades away and moves on to the next line in the rotation, which is actually Prince. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay. You know what? This is acceptable. Followed by Celery and what? then V... Oh. in some quick succession with the pedestal reading outstanding heroes yeah of oh. canton city Never high mind. five high five i take back all the sour attitude i'll put the potato nah. back in my pocket hey, i guess good work team Woo! we high five <laughs> high five everybody uh with that, he'll go ahead and look your way, finally noticing you all now that you've sort of announced yourself on that one. <laughs> We're really making a difference out there, gang. Look at that. They called us heroes. They called us heroes. Well, 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 look who it is. Ah, look, our rising star over here. <laughs> Saw that, Congratulations, Pato. Well, thank you very much for that. Uh, <laughs> Prince, was it? Yeah. Thank you. Is the Don't joke worry. still that like everyone in Canton City keeps getting Prince and V mixed up? Really good job remembering my name. Hmm. 
Although it was just on the statue a second ago. Take yeah, a I was damn to pay compliment. You a compliment. Yeah, exactly. When someone gives you a compliment, it's polite to say thank you. Was that in character? Just a handy tip from me. <laughs> Shit. No, he, he said it nicer than he is way nicer than me. Well, looks like you guys are doing a bit of standing out of your own. You know, just taking out problems in time, helping out other teams where necessary. We're, you know, we kind of handle it all. He gives back a little bit of a bitter smile. Like, uh, you can tell it's not the most genuine smile. Well, nice to see that uh, I still have some good competition here. I'm glad to I... know that you guys are doing a good job. We'll be here to keep you on your toes every step of the way. Well, just remember, and he turns around to start walking away. I don't like sharing the spotlights. For a second, I thought he was going to say, just remember, and then just walk away. Remember, kids. <laughs> and then nothing happens. Yeah, then nothing. We're like, what? Uh, Karakel is going to take a step up to you three. Um, please don't worry too much about him. He's just really competitive. I reach into my pocket. Who said they were worried? Wait, 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 what do you have for Kiriko? <laughs> Where did you get? I'm gonna pull out a, I'm just gonna pull out a flower. Aww. And hand it to her. Where did you oh. get that flower? Flower button. Um, oh, okay. I have a lot of buttons. For me? Yes. Oh. Thank so, you. Out of character, Celery feels like she only hopes that Pato is being nice to Caracal, but just in case, it's her way of saying, like, you're doing a great job, you know, if he doesn't say it. Thank you very much. It's pretty. Uh, and she's just going to hold it close to her chest for a bit. Oh. Never forget how important you are. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Don't let his bus forget to you either. Oh. Uh, no, not at all. Uh, truth be told, I think he's pretty amazing. Aww. Aww. He has a bit of a rough attitude, for sure, but he tries his best at everything I've seen him do. It's very inspiring. Oh, uh, but you three are doing great as well. I heard about how you, uh, handled the SOS yesterday. Two thumbs up. From a distance, you do hear a call. Kara, time to get to work. And she'll, uh, look back to you. Uh, I suppose I should get going. Good luck to you three today. Good luck to you as well. And to the big galoot, I guess. Coming, Pato! And she starts running her way towards him. Aww. With that, the three of you, I assume, make your way towards the registration desk. Yes. Yep. The helper droid is there waiting. He recognizes the three of you. Squad 26 recognized Appreciation Award for Outstanding Work yesterday. It does go back and it pulls out these tiny little bronze medals oh my to hand God. to you three. A, a medal? Like oh. a, like we pin it to ourselves? Uh, optional. Uh, yeah. It does have uh, Mr. Satan's face. God oh. damn it! Uh, well. These are appreciation medals, essentially, to show that you have been doing standout jobs in your field, in particular in assisting other time patrollers who need help. I wonder how much Ooh. I can sell this for. Uh, <laughs> thanks for that. Uh, do we have any uh, missions on the docket for today? Parallel quest options available. Yes, it will list off the options left, which at the moment we seem to have two. Another stage one quest, the Saiyan Runt. Somehow Raditz seems to have survived and recovered from his battles with Goku and Piccolo. None of the other Z-Warriors could handle him right now. Finish him off before he starts causing havoc on Earth. And then a stage two quest, which a reminder, stage two quests are meant to be harder as something has gone terribly amiss and the timeline is now distorted and simply has to be closed down completely before it creates new rifts in time. This one, alien mix up. Nappa has arrived on earth alongside Raditz. Goku and Piccolo have failed to stop them. Destroy the invaders and close this rift in time. Hmm. I don't know about you guys. I'm feeling particularly pumped after yesterday. So I'm down for whatever. You know, we just woke up today. It might be a good warm up to handle the mm -hmm. stage one. Yeah, let's do the stage Group. one. Quest selected. And it pulls back, down, grabs the little scroll, pokes his head back up, and hands it over to you. You guys ready? Yep. Are we racing again? You better believe it. Yeah. After yesterday, I, need, <laughs> I need a win after yesterday. Jeez. As you get the scroll, the two of you just kind of like lock eyes. And then you just boom, <laughs> off you go. Prince, of course, tries to follow behind, but he, he knows he'll get there eventually, I feel. Yeah, 
I'm having a good time. I always stop and look out right here and just look at the wall <laughs> for like, a second. Oh, what a beautiful oh, view. Oh, yeah, it's such a nice <laughs> sight. As the race seems to be pretty neck and neck, though, right around the end, V manages to get one big leaping foot off and touches down right before Celery gets there. Yeah. All right. I got you this time. It was close, though, you know? Maybe next time. And Celery definitely didn't oh. let you have that. You better not have. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll throw it out right here and now. You want more punching. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, good job, good job. As you all enter, sure enough, you see the duo already at their stations, getting ready for the day ahead. Hey, heads oh, yeah. up, team. I had to wave my cinnamon stick. That's also in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, it's in the cinnamon button. And then put it, and then put it back. What oh, wait! Object, what object do you have for boot? Wait, that's what it is? There's supposed to be cinnamon bun? You just got that? I didn't know what boon was. <laughs> Did, well, I was like, I know what cinnamo is, but I don't know what spice boon is. Not a spice. I, it was cinnamon was... bun the whole time. You know, every time I've been like asking my mom, I'm like, what spice sounds like boon? <laughs> and she's like, no, is it one? And I'm like, no, there's gotta be, because Cody named a character Boone. Wait, V, did you know that? I'm not saying anything. Uh, no. I think you put on way Come on. Celery <clears throat> just right, stands and stands at the door and like kind of freezes for five minutes because she realized it's it's cinnamon bun. <laughs> Uh, hey, you okay? You okay? Oh my god. Um, well, she'll be back with us shortly. Uh, but yeah, I think <laughs> she does uh, this sometimes. She does this sometimes. Well, a certain someone has been getting some of her equipment ready uh, for today. Didn't get the most sleep last night, I imagine. Ah. And then, I look at uh, Celery. <laughs> Boone at her station just has a small blush on her face as so she's just trying to not pay attention to him. First things first. We've got ourselves a rogue saying on the loose, it looks like. You guys went with the Raditz one, huh? Okay, he gets it all loaded up. With how much you guys have been advancing, this one shouldn't be too tough for you anymore. It'll be a nice warm up. All right, you guys go ahead and get on the platform and we'll get you sent out in just a minute. All right, Celery's making this weird like circle with her hands on her belly and just taking deep breaths. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Cause she's like, we're about to fight a full-blooded Saiyan. I assume it's and also you... coming out my arms too, like the little arm holes. Uh, with that, as you stand there excited, getting ready or trying to calm yourselves, however, the pull of the time machine sends you careening into your next environment. 